this is awesome. This is the first step to a safe environment. A safe place for students to learn is Tiana Amott's top priority. Named yes. interim superintendent for Cincinnati Public Schools yes. Yes. after Laura Mitchell's recent resignation, Amott spent time today at Aiken High School, where students like Niharika Thapa got their second dose of COVID protection. Everyone was waiting for the vaccine, and now that it's out, I think it's really important for people to be taking it. Amott and the director of nursing for the Cincinnati Health Department were both glad to see so many students getting vaccinated. It's getting better. Um, we have a vaccination sites at all of our high schools, so um, we're excited that the families are coming out. So if you bring your child in, you can get vaccinated as well. So this is not only about the school, it's about the community, the city of Cincinnati as a whole. When I turn around and walked in the building and see so many children in here and their parents, I just get excited because we want our children back in the classroom. And even the children tell you I was ready to come back. So we're ready for our children to come back safely. In addition to monitoring vaccination data, Ahmad is also working with district leaders to make sure a new program called Summer Scholars is helping pandemic fatigue students grow and thrive. We're looking at attendance to see if they are showing up every day, prepared, ready to learn. We um, also are looking at, we have short cycle assessments that we do with our students, so a pre and post test to see if there's some progress throughout the four weeks for summer learning. Now, 12,000 CPS students signed up for the Summer Scholars Program, which is being paid for in large part by federal COVID relief money. Coming up next in six, learn more about Cincinnati Public's newest superintendent, including her educational journey that began in Brooklyn, New York. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, now Amat mentioned more opportunities for students and their parents to get vaccinated. Is that all happening this week? Actually, it's a big week for sure for CPS students, their families, uh, especially when it comes to second doses, though I should note that I did talk to a student today who got his first shot, so that's happening as well. High schools in the district are hosting clinics through Thursday, mostly in the morning. Days and times vary, so students should check with their school to know when a vaccine clinic will be up and running. All right, thank you, Tom Dykes, reporting for us tonight.